hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to talk about all the necessary art supplies you will be needing in your fashion illustration course for better understanding guys here you can see i have divided the materials first of course you will be needing papers and then your drawing materials coloring materials and the detailing tools and some of the tools on the advanced side okay so to begin with your papers you can just purchase this kind of printing papers uh, the loose sheets where you can practice randomly and here you can see this is how i practice you don't need to purchase very costly papers or like the art papers to begin with you can randomly practice on this kind of sheets and this is very budget friendly and of course if you are a beginner you need to have your pencil base very correct after that only you can move to your coloring part and also you can purchase this kind of sketchbooks drawing copies from any local store and these are also very budget friendly to practice and progress as a beginner of course you can keep the costly sheets separately and on this kind of copies you can swatch your colors you can practice your croquis or you can practice your fashion figures or your normal sketches you can create your own croquis you can practice color combinations so yes you don't need to directly move to the costly sheets like the ivory sheets or maybe watercolor sheets you can keep them for the later part and here you can see these are papers for the advanced level you can have your ivory sheets bristol papers here you can see these papers are good for this kind of mediums along with bristol sheets you can have your watercolor papers which are good for your watercolor medium so guys these papers are on a costier side so you can purchase them and you can try them out but if you are looking for a budget friendly way then i would advise that you can purchase one of this set and you can keep it to try out your final illustration but the practicing part you can do on the normal cheap art copies also guys the papers are discussed in a more detailed manner you guys can go and check out that video it's on this i button or the link are mentioned in the description box coming to the drawing tools that is the pencils choosing the correct pencil for a beginner is very important you should always use a hp pencil to draw and to give very light strokes while you are practicing or doing your pencil base you should not give too hard strokes or should not use any darker pencil to do your base and always try to give very light strokes and you can start your croquis by practicing using this kind of lines in circles or any random shapes and after that you can erase out the extra lines and slowly you can build your form along with your hp pencil you can also use other pencils like 8b 6b to create more depth to play with the shadows and all so i can recommend that you guys can purchase at least one set of your pencils where you have the hp 6b 3b or maybe the 8b or 10b yeah so like three or four pencils are enough another thing which is very important is to use a good mechanical pencil and this one is 0.5 mm one of my favorite to do the face specially because while we are doing the face we need to put the details in a very tiny manner like the one head croquis if you are doing the one head croquis the detailings of the faces are very small so yeah mechanical pencils are very good and along with the 0.5 you can also uh, keep 0.7 and 0.9 mm with you to create the depth like when you are making sketches or the croquis you can play around with the shadows some depth along with uh, maybe some shading some uh, cross hatching so yeah different techniques of the sketching can be used when you are just playing around with the pencils so guys i will highly recommend that you should have at least one mechanical pencil with you because it's a uh, very precise and also you don't need to sharp it so for the drawing part either you can use the hp or the mechanical 0.5 mm pencil 
along with the pencils erasers are very important of course and here i will show you two of the erasers which i like to use one is a normal one another one is the kneadable eraser so what is the basic difference between these two so when you use the normal eraser you can see this kind of pencil dust but if you are using a kneadable eraser you will not have this dust you can also use the kneadable eraser to pick uh, the extra dust and the cleaning becomes very tidy and you can also use this kneadable eraser to lightly dab over your pencil sketch to pick the extra um, charcoal or you can also knead the uh, eraser to make it very tiny or sharp and you can just uh, go to very detailed part to erase out very smaller sections so yeah this is a very versatile and if you are a beginner and you are struggling with your pencil sketches you can purchase a kneadable eraser and the measuring scale guys always have a clear measuring scale where you can read the measurements you should definitely have in two measurements one in the 15 another in the 30 centimeter you can use the smaller one for doing the face and other measurements and the bigger one mostly for the croquis and uh, like if you are working on a3 size and lastly the pencil cutter and the sharpener and yeah these two are very important i will also show how i use this two for my pencils okay so for the coloring tools that is the color pencil this one is highly recommended from my side and this is the brand Stedler. you must have seen this is very common among many people and uh, i like to keep my Stedler pencils in this pouch where i can pick my colors easily and it's also very easy to carry and maintain these are one of my favorite pencils now this the water soluble guys that is watercolor pencils and the colors are very rich and very creamy also you can use this as a watercolor medium do check out the separate video where i have talked about these pencils in depth and also how to use this for your fashion illustrations so here i will show you how i sharp this pencils because this pencils has a tendency to break very soon so either you can use a cutter to sharp it i mean to make the uh, pencil very pointed or you can use a sharpener like i like to use the sharpener mostly so what i do i don't insert the pencil completely but just the half of it to make the nib part more pointed so this is how i like to sharp my pencils and these pencils are very good guys if you purchase just the 48 shade pack you get all the colors starting from the skin tones to the hair colors to other important colors along with your gray shades so yeah highly recommended from my side another coloring tool would be watercolor now guys watercolor are very budget friendly and also with minimum watercolor you can mix and match and you can create lots of shades so yes in watercolor also you can either use the tubes or the palette like the cake palette and any brand will work actually for a beginner i have used uh, almost from the camel and the favor castle brand so you can purchase any but this one is my personal favorite the camel artist watercolor cakes and this one is in 24 shade guys i can highly recommend this one because this palette itself has all the colors starting from your skin tones to your other important colors and yeah only using this palette you can just complete your illustration so to mix your colors you will be needing palettes or the mixing plates where you can put the color and mix it especially if you are using colors for bigger area you can use the bigger color palette but yeah for a beginner you can purchase any in small size or bigger size but never mix the colors directly over the watercolor cakes 
also another budget friendly option and a similar option to the watercolors can be your poster colors that too in six shade this one is for doing the base guys like you can use just this six shades to mix the colors and for a beginner i think this can be highly recommended you can purchase any brand like from the camel or the domes or maybe fever castle as well and also to mix your poster color you can use the palette as well so guys if you are looking for a budget friendly manner and also the most versatile of this one you can go for this camel artist watercolor cakes in 24 shade because with this one you don't need to purchase anything else like you can just do the skin colors the hair colors and the garments and everything just from this palette and it's also going to last very long just keep on mixing the colors to make your own shades and also watercolors are very nice you learn the watercolor mixing by yourself and uh, like yeah it's a very versatile to do your fabrics and skin tones and other things coming to your brushes guys i have divided them here one would be your coloring brushes for doing the base maybe like you can have a flat brush or like two or three sizes of the flat brush and yeah flat brushes are very important for spreading your color very properly along with the flat brushes you can have some round brushes and some round brushes different sizes so yeah this two are like very important as a beginner and after that if you want to do more of the detailing using your watercolor or poster color you can purchase this detailing brushes and in the detailing brushes you can have the different sizes like starting from triple zero to double zero to one now it depends on the company or the brand what size they are putting on their brush so yeah this too like you can have the next important detailing tools are fine liners and white gel pen now there are lots of brands available but my personal favorite are the sakura microns so guys this pens are very much recommended especially you can have the two important sizes the 005 and 01 along with this you can have one gel pen or maybe pigment liner in 03 or any size like maybe in red color for doing the lips if you are doing the face and the white gel pens highly recommended because uh, this gel pens are very versatile and you can use this for doing some details or prints over your garments so if you want to purchase the micron you can purchase the whole set like this microns are available in set of four or six but if you are a beginner and you are looking for a budget friendly manner then you can purchase this two important size because mostly guys this two important sizes are only used like the 005 for the face and the 01 for maybe outlining the garment or giving the other detail along with this you can have your lips color like if you are doing the face you can do the lips maybe with the red color or for any other um, color you can choose pink or purple so totally depends on you like how you want to do the face and white gel pens these are very nice very versatile you can literally use this for any thing like giving highlights sequins or giving some kind of prints uh, some kind of detailing over ethnic wares or any other traditional wares so yeah the list goes on and if you want to purchase the gel pen in white you can purchase the poshka or the uniball white gel pens or from sakura as well so next coming to the advanced detailing tools i have included the fine liners here the colorful gel pens and this one you will be needing when you are doing the prints or making multicolored garments so yeah for the later part actually and you can choose this uh, gel pens based on your budget there are so many options available now this pens are like 10 rupees you can purchase the whole set in like 100 to 150 rupees from any local store i have this too from flare and yeah here you can see this one is 10 rupees per pen and the color quality is very nice so you can have one set with you 
for doing prints for doing any other kind of detailing so we never know when we need this pens so you can keep one set with you for doing the work also guys when you are purchasing the fine liners just check if they are water proof or like they are water soluble now this ones are not waterproof and the waterproofs are actually on the costlier side so you can use this but you should be careful that you are not using water after this pens or you will end up smudging everything so this is another thing which you can purchase but not very important for the beginners but uh, for the advanced side these are jelly rolls from the sakura little on the costlier side but the gel pens are very creamy and the colors are very bright so if you are looking for something in neonish color and uh, the colors are very smooth and creamy you can have the set but this is not highly recommended so guys from the fine liners you can purchase any from local store maybe or online based on your budget your colors whatever colors you are looking for and you can either have in gel pens or fine liners and i can recommend you any of this and there are so many brands available like the stadler flare even from sakura and so on so yeah you have lots of options to choose from another advanced detailing tools are the metallic pens guys now in this one also you have so many options available and this one is like one of my favorite the painty marker from the zig and uh, the color is very nice i really like the color it's kind of very metallic without giving this kind of glittery shine i like to use this uh, pen or the marker for doing most of my ethnic wear or like giving some kind of embroidery or detailing look over any type of couture designing so yes you can have one of these in golden and in silver shade maybe and the uniball one are also very nice the shades are very like proper metallic look only this one is i think on the brighter side and the silver one also so this one is on the cheaper side like you can purchase at least one maybe the golden one and you can keep it but again this one is on the advanced side like i think this is like mostly used in ethnic wares like you are doing mostly the ethnic wares or the bridal wares this comes very useful so for the advanced coloring tools i have kept the alcohol based markers because i feel these are on the costlier side and also it has a very limited shade option but still it's very nice like very handy you can use this for doing your skin tones and it also makes the work very fast like it's fast medium and here is the shade card so it has six shades and this is like one of my oldest marker set you can buy any so many options are available and these are brush pens which are water based guys and brush pens are also very easy and fast medium but again this makes the coloring very limited so i mean to say that when you are looking at the shade card you can see at least some shades available but uh, the mixing is not possible like not always you can mix two or three colors like blending but uh, again this makes the coloring very limited but it's also very handy like if you want to do the base very quickly you can use the camel brush pens as well or from any other brand as well and yeah the separate video is also there on how i use the brush pens for doing the skin tones or doing the garments and other techniques are already discussed you can go and check out that video guys so again this totally depends on you that what kind of medium do you want to use if you are comfortable in using markers you can purchase markers and also you can purchase some separate markers like brown color i have purchased this color because i feel this color is very 
much uh, is it's very much needed like we can use this for doing the hair or maybe for the garment so yes you can purchase single markers or maybe set of four to five markers whatever is available based on your budget and the colors you are looking for you can definitely give it a try and finally you can decide that which type of colors you are comfortable in and you can choose the colors you would like to use in your illustration and develop your personal style so i hope the video was useful to everybody do leave your feedbacks and don't forget to subscribe see you all very soon till then take care bye